hi guys welcome back to my channel i am going to be doing something different today i'm going to be trying to do a nail video and it's going to be a voiceover so i'm going to be doing these five nails and just making them the same color on each hand so let's get started so i am pushing my cuticles back because I'm just going to be doing a fill so I have been watching a lot of nail videos and they've really helped me and inspired me to just practice doing my nails because the first time I did my nails um, it was so bumpy and lumpy and I just didn't know how to fix it and I gave up on filing them so much because like I started burning myself but when I watched videos of people who are now my favorite nail youtubers they really helped me through my beginner process and I'm just so thankful like you can DIY and learn yourself and people are willing to teach you on YouTube and I just find that so fun and amazing and nails are really fun for me now I wouldn't say I'm addicted because that'd be bad but I'd love to do other people's nails because so far I've only done my sister's nails and I just love doing it on my own nails because of how long my nails have grown um, this is SNS powder that I'm using and I've always gone to the salon and paid so much for my nails when I could have done it at home the whole time. Especially when prices are going up these days. So I'm getting rid of all the nails that are hanging out. And I'm just grabbing them so I'll be ready for the next manicure. To be honest, I don't really know um, how to voice over because I don't really know much about nails. But don't So now I'm using my e-file to file down all the shininess on top of the nail. As you can see, it's a bit shiny from the last manicure. So I'm just taking all that away. I actually love this file so much. I'm like obsessed with it. And it's actually really fun and easy to use. But I'm still working on how to shape my nails with this e-file because it's really difficult, especially when you just don't know how to use it yet um i am still learning how to use it so don't come for me if it looks like i'm doing something wrong but i will take your criticism if you want to learn i mean you want to teach me a little thing or two about these things for this one when it comes to filing oh and it looked like it broke so I had to replace it it doesn't actually hurt it may sound like it hurts but it doesn't it just depends on how much pressure you're putting so when you're on a high rpm you shouldn't be putting a lot of pressure and when you're a low when you're on a low rpm that's when you should kind of be putting pressure because it shouldn't be painful Now I'm just gonna stop talking and you guys are gonna see me file the rest of the nails that I'm gonna be doing. And I hope you enjoy this video. This is my first time, so I don't really know what to do or like how they do this, but hopefully it's enjoyable. So 
So even now I'm getting started with the dipping. I'm gonna be doing it in a nice orange, yellowish color, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'm just dipping it in as you can see. It takes a while, you know, like to just organize everything and put everything in place. That's why I'm like everywhere, here and there, you know what I mean? Okay, so if you're watching this and you're like, what are you doing? You should have soaked it all off. Yeah, no, I don't like soaking it off, okay? I am doing a refill. So it's a lot quicker since the nails did grow out a little bit it's been two weeks so i just want to do a quick and simple refill here and i did prep the nails properly so no bacteria would go under you know the lifted areas because i already filed that down as you saw in the previous videos and um i just want my nails to be the same color for once because i haven't had a manicure the same color on both fingers and I guess that's what nail techs have to go through yes I'm calling myself a DIY nail tech right now um, but yeah you can see that the dip is a little bit bumpy and lumpy right now because it was really hard for me to film and do my nails at the same time it was, I was like so under pressure for no reason so um, yeah just Hoping it looks good at the end. So in this clip, I believe I'm doing a gradient, yes. I tried doing the gradient with a white and a darker orange, but it didn't work because I feel like the base was just a little bit darker than the colors that I tried to use. So I ended up going with pink, which I guess looked okay. Um, so for this trick you have to use a really dense brush so like an eyeshadow brush or whatever I'm just using a really cheap eye aligner eyeshadow brush here um, and I'm just scrubbing it really hard on the nail putting lots of pressure so it will be more pigmented and beautiful like a sunset or a sunrise because that's cute I'm really sorry if I sigh or breathe really loud. I just, I get tired of talking sometimes and voiceovers are just so boring for me because I don't have a nice voice, but I just sound really tired because I am. Okay, so anyway, um, this powder is a clear powder, this white looking powder here. And I'm just gonna dip all my nails in it, especially my gradient nails. So when I go and file them, they won't come off the color the color won't come off and um make the gradient look really bad like on my other hand if you ever see my other hand that pink and white gradient or whatever gradient it is i didn't put a clear on top of it so when i went to file it it filed off some of the gradient so it looked like i had like a square looking gradient now that my finger is dipped in the clear, I'm showing you my bad thumb. That's what I was talking about. Look at that square looking gradient, not looking good. It came off while I was filing it, so we didn't want that. And look how nice the other hand turned out to be because of the clear powder. So that's pretty awesome with these SNS dip powders. I found them so interesting and 
be really cool like they're so artistic and creative and who knew powder could go in your nails now the second step is to activate it after you've dipped it in the powder and in the clear and you've done everything um, it's just to make the SNS hard so you can file it and the SNS won't come off while you're filing it so this sets it and hardens the powder yeah I love this step because I know that I'm almost done and I can just file And we're done. I'm just kidding. Ew. Yuck. Well, look at that. Um, they've definitely lost their shape. As you can see, they did look oval and it wasn't cute. So these are the nails filed and shaped to the best of my ability. Look at them looking all nice and squared now. Um, you can see the second finger the gradient did come off on that one I think it's because I didn't wait for the clear powder to dry and I just brushed it off it and then thought that it was okay that's why the gradient came off on the second finger but the ring finger looked really nice the gradient was beautiful and it came out really how I wanted it to be so that was good um, proud of myself for that one So this is the finished product, this is on my left hand, I'm really happy with this side, I love the colour, and this is on my right hand. So you can see the gradients kind of off, but I still love them overall. So I hope you like this video, I know it was something different, but tell me what other colour I should do on my nails, and I can try them for you. Thanks for watching guys, bye!